Hello Max Lovers, this is Ura. So today I'm going to be explaining to you the very first algebraic identity called the square of a sum. You can see it on the board using this example, the first one and the second one. So particularly the square of a sum is an expression like this when you have a plus b in the bracket with a square like this. Um, how do you go about expanding it is what I want to explain today. So it's very simple. Now this square at the top here shows that this particular bracket is 2. Right? So if we want to expand this particular bracket, what we do is we write the first one and we use the first one to multiply the second one. It's as simple as this. So this is the first bracket. You have a plus b. Multiplying the second bracket, also a plus what b now there are two ways to expanding this particular bracket i'm going to do the first one now the first one is particularly using the first term in the first bracket which is a the first term here is a in this first bracket the second term here is b in the first bracket and likewise the second bracket so we are going to use the first term in this first bracket to multiply to the second bracket and likewise the second term multiply to the second bracket a multiplying this bracket you have a plus b the second term has a plus let's not forget this time plus so we have plus b and we have what uh, a plus b which is the second bracket so this is now very simple what we do now is just multiply this this one out here this a here to everything inside the bracket so we have this is a a multiplied by a is a squared Particularly from indices, you have a that has a power of 1 multiplying another a that has another power of 1. So the 1 plus 1 add up and you have 2. So you have a squared plus. Now a multiplied by b is now a b. We have this plus, this is it here. Now b multiplied by a is a b. I'm looking at alphabetical order now. So we have a b plus. Now b multiplied by b is a b squared so if you look at this particular expression clearly you will discover that we have something similar in the middle in the middle i'm talking about this place this one and this one right so this has a coefficient of one there's something we call coefficient in mathematics coefficient is the number with a particular variable variables are alphabets right so the variable here is a b but the coefficient there is one the variable here is a b the coefficient there is one so one plus one is two so we can add these two together we have what a square plus two a b plus what we have here finally square so this is what the first um, algebraic identity states that the square of a sum is equal to this when you have something like this you have this now if you look at this particular expression clearly you discover that this looks like an old and a quadratic expression right yes this is a quadratic expression so example set number one is we have 3x plus 2y we square so we are using the same method to solve this like i said there are two methods though i've not explained the second one so this is what 3x plus 2y 3x plus what 2y so this is the first bracket this is the second bracket so just like what i did here we are going to use the first term here this is the first term this is the second term this is the first term this is the second term in this particular bracket and the other one so we are going to use the first term to multiply this bracket and likewise the second term to multiply the bracket so we now have 3x open bracket 3x plus 2y that is this three this is it and we are left with what 2y so we have our plus 2y open bracket just like what we have here 3x plus what 2y close the bracket and finally what we do now is to multiply what is outside with what is inside individually so we have 3x multiplied by 3x 3x multiplied by 3x is 9x squared plus now 3x multiply by 2y 3 times 2 is 6 so we have 6xy plus also 
coming back to one through this particular bracket now let's move to this now this is what 2y multiplied by 3x so it's 17 6xy plus 2y multiplied by 2y is 17 as what 4 4y squared now just like what i did initially if you look at um if you look at the middle you will discover we have similar variables here we have similar variables here so if you add them together it becomes one right so we are going to now have nine x squared plus now six x y plus six x y is equal to twelve x y so we have twelve x y plus four y squared so finally this is the answer to this particular question but like i said we are going to i'm going to use another formula or another method sorry i'm going to use another method to solve this particular question so i'll clean this place same question different method right so we have 3x plus 2y is now equal to with the square we open our bracket we have 3x plus right our bracket sorry and 3x plus 2y so this is now now i need you to look at this like this now the first term multiplies this first term here and this same first term multiplies this um second term so the first term of this bracket multiplies the first term of this bracket and the first term of this bracket multiplies the second term of this bracket okay so that's the first thing so i'm going to write it down so 3x multiplies by 3x is what 9x squared okay so same 3x multiplied by 2y is 6xy okay so i have a plus now we're now going to go into what since we're through with 3x so now start with um 2y so we have 2y multiplies 3x 2y multiplies 3x is 6xy also 2y multiplies 2y is equal to 4y squared uh, yeah i guess this is very fast this is one of the fastest method you just just a single step and you're done so 6xy plus 6xy is finally at um, 12xy so this is it 12xy plus 4y squared so this is you can see this method and this method they are all the same this and this are all the same so please if you've not subscribed to my channel i am saying you should please click on that subscription button to get more content like this so um and you can also share the video share the link to your friends your family and loved ones also i would be very glad if i get comments to answers to this particular question i did solve this one so i want i want um i would want to see comments with the answer to this particular question thank you